Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where we'll take a look at Google Drive and how to create a turn-in folder. So here I am logged in as a student. This is a process where you can create a folder to put files in and that folder can be shared to your teacher. So to start this process over here on the left side I'm going to create a folder and you're gonna name this folder something very specific. Please start with your class hour. So if I am in second hour I'd put a 2. Maybe you're at the high school or maybe you're in a class where uh, there's an A and a B. You would want to put 2A or 2B. Uh, if it's just second hour, you can just leave it as 2. Space, last name. We're going to pretend my last name is Smith. Space, language, arts. So it's the hour, the student's last name, and whatever the subject is for the class. So there's the folder. When you mouse over the folder, over here on the left, there's a little option arrow little drop down that you can click on for some more choices. We're going to go down to share, go to share again. In the share window, this is where you're going to share the folder directly to the teacher. So if you go to the add people box and click in there, start typing the teacher's last name. So we're going to pretend I'm going to share this with Mr. Kafka. If you see two addresses for a teacher, make sure you choose the one that is uh, the teacher's name at franklin.k12, not franklinpublicschools.org. So I choose the teacher, I make sure the teacher has edit rights, and you can uncheck this box that says please notify via email. The teachers will be having so many folders shared to them that just cuts down on the number of emails they'll get. So uh, students, please uncheck that. I hit share and save, get a message that just says I skipped a notification or an invitation, that's fine. I can hit OK. So now it says that the student is the owner of the folder, the teacher can edit whatever is put in that folder. So zoom out, we can click done. Now you'll notice on the folder, there's a little person. This signifies this is a shared folder. I'm clicked on the folder, it's red, and this shows nothing is currently in the folder. Let's go back to my drive. I'm just gonna click on my drive so it's red, and I've got some files in here that I've been working on as a student. And we name the files the same way, so if ever a search has to be done, the, the teacher can search for the class hour, the last name, or the, the title of the assignment. So here's the River Valley essay I've been working on for language arts class. I'm going to click the checkbox for that file. When I click the checkbox, I get some buttons up here at the top. There's the little organize or folder button. This allows me to check off which folder this file should appear in. So if I click on my two Smith Language Arts folder, I see the little check appears there. That means now when I click apply changes, that is where that file is going to appear. So if I go click on the folder, that file is now in the folder. You can drag and drop files into folders, but some students have sometimes dropped something accidentally in a wrong folder and that creates confusion. So I would recommend using the checkboxes. That just makes it so you're exactly putting it in the right folder. Let's say you put a file in a folder and you need to get it out. The best way to do that is with the checkboxes. If I click on the checkbox, let's say I want to take this out of this folder. Click the checkbox, I go back to my folder or organize button. If you click on My Drive, that just puts it back at the top level. So this will just put it back in the generic My Drive area. So now that file has been taken out of that folder. So those are some different ways in which you can um, move your files around. But anything you put in there will automatically share to the teacher. You don't have to share each file individually. The teacher can leave comments on it, can grade it, can do whatever they need to do with it. And both teacher and student have access to those files. So please use that method for turning files in. And thank you so much for watching.